This is the Be Live Studio 2 section of the course and everything I'm about to illustrate now is actually detailed within the following videos. So let's begin. This is your studio. You're in control of it. It's permanent. It's your room and you can do with it as you wish and you can embellish it as you wish and this is where you actually control all the broadcasts that you do. You can go live and you can go live to YouTube, Facebook. You can do a recording and you can do a test recording. You can add your camera and I'll show you how to add your camera, how to use DSLR, how to use AirDroid, uh, all within this course. So various ways of actually getting your camera in the course. Adding a guest. I will show you how to add a guest and the best way to do that. All of the practices I've been doing in over 1200 broadcasts on BeLive and um, I'm distilling those so that in this course you can find out exactly how it should work and what you should be doing. I'm looking at sharing screen as well and the various ways of doing that and what happens when you do share screen. I'm going to remove that from the studio, remove that from the studio, so I'm in control. So sharing screen, adding media, adding media from your hard drive, adding media from YouTube, being able to play YouTube videos directly, and how to add media from Facebook, how to create, uh, well, to create folders of your photographs you actually want to use on the show. The next option, is live selling now you have to ask be live for this just go to the question mark bottom right hand corner of the studio click chat request access to live selling mention my name and uh, you'll get access to live selling and live selling is covered in this course the next thing is remote assistant remote assistant is a way for somebody to help you whilst you're live uh, essentially you send them a link and they can control what happens in your studio who goes on screen who goes off screen who's featured full screen which image is used which videos are played they're in control of that side of things so you can actually concentrate on doing the broadcast and again with live with the remote assistant you need to go to click the question mark go to chat request remote assistant and it will appear on the menu just like this on mine and you can then have somebody help you when you're live widgets we've got start widgets which appear on screen when you've got on and off switches and at the moment we've got two uh relate well related to a situation we're at the moment there will undoubtedly be more widgets that we can actually use on-screen text and scrolling text is controlled from there and then the agenda which is an important part of every broadcast is controlled from the agenda section and you can copy into there uh, in MMR text and you can copy in text as well to remind you what each topic is about so agenda is fantastic if you've got a guest and you want to put your questions in there they're also amazing when you have a show which has got is structured so agendas help you actually structure your show and finally branding on this side of the screen how to actually brand your show and if you're producing shows for the people you can actually put their branding up their logo their overlay all from within your own studio uh, most of the things that uh, i use during my live shows are actually created on canva but that's only one of many options available to you so branding scheduling we've got on the right hand side you can see uh, the chat public chat which is the chat that comes in whilst you're live and the host chat which is how you keep in touch with your guests via text because when you're actually broadcasting you can't speak to your guests privately because there is no vo voice back channel uh, there is a text back channel and you can speak to your guests whilst you're live and when somebody puts a message in there little red light appears and you can actually then see that there's a new comment controlling comments whilst you're live we'll show you how to put them on screen how to take them off screen 
and how to interact with them and uh, did a great session just a few moments ago live on a Sunday morning at sea I was joined by people down below me is the staging area now I'm just going to load an image at random just to show you um, I'm going to go for my cover photos I'm on Facebook and I'm going to bring one of my favorite photos up add the image to the broadcast and now I can share that image on screen and take myself off full screen the image is next to me and I'm going to change the layout all of this I'm doing live you'll notice I can change the layout easily so staging area down below you've got a left hand section which is a live area right hand section which is your assets and when you take something off screen it goes from the live show into the, st the staging area and you can bring it on screen whenever you wish now you're in control of the staging area as you'll find out the look and feel of every single broadcast is up to you you can do the overlays you can do anything to uh, make the studio your own every show can be differently uh, branded and the control is from here now on the rare occasion that you have a problem by broadcasting then you can press the chat uh, which is the question mark in the bottom right hand corner press the chat talk to support they're there 24 7 you can watch tutorials not whilst you're live of course but you can watch tutorials and there are articles as well which are very useful in getting a feel of be live and i keep up to date by actually reading what's going on in there and then there's the faq which answers most of the questions you actually find about uh, the operation of BeLive in front of camera and behind the camera. BeLive is a fully integrated system for live broadcasting. It works out the box. It's not like OBS. It's not like vMix. It's not like XSplit. Basically, you've got four boxes on screen. You can fill them with people. You can fill them with images. And you can just press the button and go live. You don't need to do anything other than that. And if you go through this course, it's a step-by-step -step guide. Now, you don't need to go through the whole course. When you get a question, simply go to the YouTube section on my YouTube channel and watch the video. They're not overly long, and they all explain step-by-step -step how to achieve what you want to achieve. This is the end of the first section. This is a technical section, the production section. And once you've been through this section, you'll know technically how to do a live broadcast. But this is only part of the story. Pressing the buttons and going live is part of the story. The other part of the story is, well, how to go live, and that will be in the next section of videos. So thank you for watching this introduction. If you've got questions, then please do post them underneath each YouTube video, and I will answer them. If I don't know the answer, undoubtedly I know somebody who does. Please do join the Belivers group on Facebook, which is where you'll get your questions answered directly by your fellow broadcasters if you've got a problem whilst you're live go into chat if you you can go into chat at any time you don't have to be live if you've got a question then you can pose the question there'll be somebody at the end to actually help you support is one of the big features of be live now i've been involved with be live since it first started in october 2016 and i've enjoyed every single minute of it i've made friends around the globe you can too live video is the best way to actually build a network and it's also the best way to actually start marketing and we'll be talking about marketing in another section of this live video course so this is stephen this is live video training your host is me and i'll see you in the following videos as i say pick the ones that are of interest to you you can go through a to z uh, from beginning to end a to z sorry i forgot my international audience but if you have any questions, please do ask and I will answer. And if there are amendments needed to any of the videos, I will make those amendments and acknowledge your help in doing so. You can catch me in the Belivers group every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. You can ask me questions live within the group, as many people have done in recent weeks. And uh, I invite you to join Belivers. Do answer the questions, though, because that will get you into the group. 
Thank you for watching this intro video. I shall see you in the next video.